Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we are going to do a reset with a forgotten Windows password. So if you try to see, I try to type in a password, it's giving me incorrect password. You got the concept here, if you forgot your password, if you're trying to crack into a computer system for emergency, if you're trying to recover a password of somebody else, you can do this one without any software. Just plainly keyboard, and of course, the computer that you're trying to get into. So jump in guys, and I'm going to show you to you step by step, and I'm going to try to explain each step that you're going to do, all right? So this one is a complete tutorial with explanation so that you get to understand what we are trying to do so that you can adjust if the scenario for you is a little bit different, all right? So jump in guys and I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so try to look into my computer here. Um, to give you a sample, I'll try to type anything and then press enter and it's not working, right? So it says here password uh, is incorrect, try again. Okay, so the first thing we need to do guys is on your keyboard, it's either a laptop or a PC. If you have your keyboard with you, you try to press the shift button here. You need to check this one out, press the shift button, and then of course go to that shutdown corner here. At this point, let's go there, here. Right down here, you go ahead and press the power button while holding the shift button here and then go for restart. Okay, so that it will go into um, recovery or safe mode. So I'll press that one. Um, if you restart, okay, restart anyway. Okay, so there you go. It's restarting as you can see on the screen right here. So let's focus on the screen right now and wait for it to do a restart. So what I'm going to do guys is um, Try not to cut most of the footage so that you can see every step of the way. So there you go, it says please wait because it's going to give us a, another screen. Okay, so in this screen, let's go to my window up there. It should show up this blue screen. Then let's go a little bit up. The next thing that is going to happen is you have this option um, and we need to go down here and do a troubleshoot. You can use your arrow keys or you can use your mouse, okay? So for me, I'm using my arrow keys. I'm just going to press enter. Then you need to choose advanced options. Okay, on the advanced options, you jump into the command prompt here. So go to command prompt and then press enter or click. Now, of course, the command prompt will show up, as you can see there. Now, in this scenario, um, we need to check um, what are the current volumes or drives you have and try to locate something. So for this, um, while checking, we need to type, uh, let's go ahead and type in disk part. Okay, disk part. Now, once you type disk part, it will go into this um, mode you can see that it changed to disk part now for us to check how many what are the hard drives available we're trying to locate um, a certain file okay knowing the drives would lead us to easily figuring out where that file is located so i'm just going to go ahead and list volumes Okay, so it doesn't have S. If you can see there, it corrected me. It's not volume. So if you made a mistake with a command like what I have did, I had an S. It's either you retype the entire command uh, like list volume without the S or you can press the up arrow key in your keyboard and it's going to come up with the latest command that you typed. So that's what I did. I'll just go backspace and let list, list volume. And you can see here, I have C, E, D, F, all right? So we have probably two volumes that are available. It's the C and E because the other drives are, um, this one is a recovery drive. The other one is FAT32. This is basically uh, maybe a USB stick plugged in or, and then the volume F is hidden as well. Another kind of partition 
that the system needs. And I can say by now um, that um, what we're looking into is CNE. So I'll just go ahead and type exit to go back to the original prompt. Now what we're going to do is I want to dive into C. So you just go ahead and type C colon and then enter. Now if you try to see it changed into C. So it means to say that we are inside this directory. And I'm going to type in DIR, that means directory. So I'm just going to press enter. And then if you try to see it here, the C drives contains family pics, Gnard personal and other softwares, wherein I know that this is basically um, uh, the drive where I save files, but not the operating system drive. And what we're looking into is operating system drive. So another option is I need to jump into E. So what I want to do is like type E again here, colon, and then there you go. It changed to E as you can see it here, E. Now what I'm going to do is type in DIR again, and then it's going to list me a lot of things. And number one thing we're trying to look here is a folder that has a, uh, that is named Windows. So as you can see it here, I have Windows, okay? So I can go ahead and uh, CD, that's a command for change directory. I want to enter, I want to enter the Windows folder and I'm going to uh, type in Windows. There you go. So Windows, I'll press enter. I'm inside Windows. You can see the directory here, E, Windows. And then I'm going to do DIR again. So if you can see when I press DIR on Windows, what I'm looking next is System32, all right? So we, we enter again System32. So uh, CD System32. As you can see, okay, don't get lost here, guys. Um, Windows System32, all right? Um, this means that we are inside the drive E, inside a folder called Windows, inside another folder. Uh, in that, uh, inside this Windows folder is a System32 folder. Okay, so I'm just going to check what's inside DIR again, and then there are a lot. What we're actually looking here is um, utilman.exe, but if you can see, it's very long. So the reason I did this one is to make sure that I, I have the right drive for us to execute a command. So I can basically go ahead and go back to this uh, so that we have a clean uh, prompt. I just wanna go back in CD, CD space dot dot, and I will go, go, back to another, uh, go back to that folder and then CD dot dot again, and I will go back to this folder so that we have a clean prompt. Well, anyway, you don't need to do that, but it's better to see and clean while I'm doing the tutorial, all right? So what I want to do here is, okay, you try this one. I want to do a backup copy of the utilman exe that is basically um, here inside, inside the system 32. So what I'm going to do is copy and then I want to type in the E because I know that the Windows folder is here for, uh, forward slash then Windows slash system 32. 32, okay, uh, slash again, and then utilman.exe, and then space. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm trying to say here is, I wanna copy this utilman.exe that is inside the folder 32, system 32, which is inside the Windows folder, which is inside the drive E. Okay, so what I wanna do is try to create a copy of this one, and I want you to create that copy in this directory, so so copy utilman.exe to e oh, e then Windows then system thirty two and then slash utilman.exe backup. Okay, if you try to see this one. I just added backup here so that we can re, uh, create a backup of this file, okay? So I'm just going to press enter. As you can see here, you know that it is successful if it says one file's copied. The reason why we did that one is we need to rename this utilman.exe into something else that we can use. 
So uh, when we are going to restore later on, we can just go back to this utilman.exe backup and restore the utilman.exe, okay? So the next thing I want to do here is just go ahead and copy again. Copy E, then Windows, System32, and then cmd.exe. Okay, so we are going to replace that one with cmd.exe and then we go to E, colon, Windows System32 and then you, oh no, we made a mistake there. So later on, you need to check this one. So the name later on would be this one. Okay. Uh, T, uh, I made them uh, as long as you know, so no problem. Okay, so you tell man. So I'm just going to make the CMD into you tell man dot exe. You tell man, you tell man. Don't make a mistake here. That exe. Okay. To complete this one, let's just go ahead and put a Y, and then we press enter. Uh, you can see this one again, file copied. So what happened here, guys, is um, we went into cmd.exe. It's also inside this folder, and we renamed it to utilman.exe. So you try to see the flow here. The cmd.exe became utilman.exe. The utilman.exe was saved in a backup called a wrong spelled utilman plus dot exe backup okay so if you're going to restore after everything we did after we successfully resetted the password then we can restore this one uh, this utilman what i'm going to do is just go ahead we're done here exit and then we're going to continue to windows 11 okay so we continue So after doing that, guys, it should be going through the login screen again. So let's wait up here. I think everything's working well. Nothing's wrong. Okay, the reason why we went into edit that one is to have the option here at the lower right corner. If you try to click it here, there's a accessibility icon. I don't know if you can see this one, guys, here at the corner here. There's another option here, which is accessibility. So if you click this one, the command prompt is going to come out. So press this one. You can see here the command prompt is out. So, so if this command prompt is out, when you press the accessibility button, everything we did a while back is correct. If it is not coming out, there's something wrong of what you did on the previous step. Now, assuming that you made it here, we go ahead and continue the reset, all right? All right, so the next thing we wanna type in here, guys, is uh, we need to list the users that are in my computer. So uh, what I'm going to type is net local group, sorry, <laughs> local group administrators, administrators. Okay, so this is going to list up all the administrators in my computer, the users. And you can see here, I have Administrator, I have uh, Sylvip and Torogu Pro. So our target is this one, my account, which is Torogu Pro because it's also an administrator. If you have one, only one username, for example, Sylvip here, right? So what you're going to do is, um, if you want to select the Sylvip there, what you want to do is select that one by typing net, net user, okay, space and then S-A-I-L-V-I-P, and then asterisk, okay? If you have only one word, one word, this one, one word username. In my case, I have two word, okay? So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to go back here and delete this one. I'll go put quotes and then type in Tor. And then I go back here and then type in asterisk and then press enter. Okay, so it's going to ask me for a password wherein I'm going to type in um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, QWERTY. 
Okay, you know my password. Okay, now for the sake of this video, I just do that one and press enter. And then it's going to ask me to retype 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, QWERTY. Okay, enter. The command completed successfully, all right? So we are going to test if it's going to work here on my um, uh, password section. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this one. And then I'm going to type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, QWERTY. We should be able to log in. Okay, we're logged in. Now, remember guys, we were able to um, uh, reset this one. So we need to clear our tracks and re uh, restore what we have edited a while back because we were able to do a full reset and we access this computer. So I'm going to restart this one while pressing again, restart, like what we did earlier, restart anyway. So we need to go back to where we went in and basically change back um, the util man to a utilman.exe. Okay, here we go again. You have it here. We have uh, uh, troubleshoot. We go to troubleshoot. Then we go to advanced uh, options. Then go to command prompt, all right? So in the command prompt again, I'll just go to, uh, I know that uh, that is E, so I'll just jump ahead. Um, so if you try to see E, Okay, we're there. What we gotta do is like copy um, uh, E, the directory E, colon, then Windows, then uh, System32. I wanna copy that and System32 slash UTL. I, we made a mistake a while back, so make sure you know that one. Uh, that should be utilman.exe back up. Okay. Two, we're going to copy that one into E again, colon, oops, sorry, Windows, wrong spelling, Windows slash uh, system32 slash. We are going to bring it back, utilman.exe. Then we're going to force that. Yep. So utilman.exe should come back. Enter. Okay. So there you go. We're good. So what do we do? We exit. Then we continue to Windows 11. So by doing that, actually, if you, if you try to press the accessibility here, again, it should not bring us the command prompt. So we restored, we cleared our tracks, right? <laughs> um, I hope it's going to, yeah, of course it should work. Because if that command prompt is popping out, if you are clicking that one, somebody did it to you. <laughs> somebody uh, resetted your password. So I go here, try to click the accessibility here, click that one. If you try to see it's not popping up the, um, it's not popping up the um, command prompt, it's popping up what is in this screen. Uh, unlike when we changed that one, so nobody jacked up your computer, okay? So I go here and type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, Q, where, T. Enter. Badam, we're in. But of course, there's no internet, so badam, badam, we were able to reset. To give you a wrap, guys. That's how easy it is without any software and I believe I explained every single step out there. So if you have any questions, just drop a comment down below and I'll try to answer them as much as I can. Now, remember, when you try to change that CMD, always clear your track. If somebody's clicking that accessibility button and your command prompt is popping out, somebody jacked up your computer, okay? So if it's your first time here on my YouTube channel, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then like this video. Um, I hope we are going to come up with more videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.